hey, hi, hello. This video was not planned, um, but here we are in my, this looks like I bleached the shirt, but I didn't. And that's why I stopped my merch because I didn't like this brand, this company, uh, because anything in this shade, I have a hoodie also, ends up like this. But anyway, this video was not expected, but I just got a lot of mail like a lot of mail. When I was being all pitiful in my video and I said my wish list is below, I obviously was like, hey, buy me a book. And maybe I thought a book or two would show up, but um, I don't know if you could, that may not be a lot to a lot of people, but they all came in one day. Now I know one I think is what I ordered from Amazon for Nigel. I think, but I'm just going to do an unboxing here because all of them say book and I'm like, oh my word, I can't. Boy, y'all are too amazing. I'm assuming it's from y'all because I haven't ordered anything besides this from Nigel. So I'm gonna open this box from Nigel really quick and then I'm gonna open those and basically just be squealing at the awesomeness, awesomeness of you wonderful people who are subscribed to me. That's what this video is. So let me just make sure. Nigel's under this table, chewing on a rope. And I open this box and here he comes. Okay, yes, this is Nigel's stuff. So if you wanna see what I got Nigel, I got these little wipes that I use for his uh, little wrinkles and then in between his little, little paw paws where he gets really irritated by allergies and then some wipes uh, that are non-scented because it's so hard here, even at the pet store and then at the next on base, it's always scented wipes and I need unscented wipes. So that's just, you know, boring dog stuff. But for me, that is book related. I did get these, oh my God, I've seen them a long time ago and they've just been like in my save for later. And I finally got them, but they're clear, like clear posted notes. So you can like write in a book and not have to write in it. Look, wow. Back up dog, the same for you. So I got, it came in this little box. So I got those, I'm very excited. I think I'll, I especially can use those for nonfiction because sometimes I wanna write more than I can fit, like in the margins. And so that will be, that'll be helpful. So these were just called, yeah, transparent sticky notes. And they came in this little cute box. So now for these, oh my God. So I have one, two, three, four, five boxes and three envelopes. This is wild. Actually, I should probably take a thumbnail first. Nigel, please. You're giving ghetto. Did you fart? Oh my God. Oh my God. You know what? Children are so disrespectful. I need to, I need to take a thumbnail. Maybe like this. Or, what are you doing? Why are you like this? Okay, let me move back. Okay, hopefully I got a thumbnail out of that. Go play with your rope. Be busy elsewhere. All right, if you hear a critter, it's Nigel. So let's open this one first. You have your own rope, please mind your business. Am I gonna embarrass myself? <clears throat> Why can't I open this? <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna close my mouth. Ooh, it's a paper bag. I don't know what this is. <gasps> oh, yay! In the holidays. I loved this by Christina Lauren. And it was something that I, um, after I read it, I was like, I definitely want to reread this like during Christmas because it's so cozy. And yay, now it's here. I love this. I love this one. I know people have mixed um, feelings about Christina Lauren, but this is from Carol Diaz. Thank you. I'm gonna put that right in there. Yes, yay. Nigel, now he's digging in his toy box. Children, I tell you, what are they good for? Nigel, come here. Come play with your rope. Okay, this one. It's so weird. They use this packaging, which is the perfect size, and then now I have this, and this is... It's fine. <clears throat> I know that the workers are overworked, pushed for time, I get it, okay. 
I don't know why I think I'm gonna be able to guess by this. Another paper bag. <gasps> ah, yay! It happened one summer! Oh, another romance. I love, love, love this. Oh, man. Oh, Brendan. I ate this up, child. I love this book. Oh, oh dear, that's so amazing. Uh-oh, I lost sight of the dog. What is he doing? There's no note. There's no note. I don't see a note. Does it have? No, it has my name on there. Whoever sent me this, thank you so much. Thank you. Nigel, get out your toy box. Okay, this one feels like it has a heart. Now what is? Oh wait, I got close Wait, they feel like paper. <clears throat> they sounded like hardcovers, didn't they? But they feel like paperbacks. Okay. Mm. Ooh, this feels. Mm, this feels thick. I don't know what this could be. What is this? I don't know why I think I could guess. <gasps> oh yes! How did this? I was like gulag. This is by Ann Applebaum, the author of Nigel. He got his crinkly giraffe. The author of Red Famine, the book that we're reading for Book Commuter Read in May. And <clears throat> this was another one of her books that had really great reviews. So, ooh, wow. Ooh, she thick. Oh my God, look at the print. Ooh, I'm gonna dig my glasses out for this child. Oh, wait. Oh, and there's photos. I love when there's images. Are they scary though? Sometimes you flip to the images in a nonfiction and you might be traumatized. And then also The Body by Bill Bryson. I have wanted to read this book forever. I feel like I heard it, I heard about it from Emily Fox. Now he got a squeaky toy. I think he got one of his Easter eggs out of his Easter basket. I apologize, this is chaotic, but The Body by Bill Bryson. So this is a nonfiction that's about the human body. And that's just, uh, I know some things, I don't know a lot. So that felt like this would be a good nonfiction to read and I heard good things about it. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Got a little, I got a drawn. And then this one, so the Gulag um, is Soviet concentration camps that had held millions of political and criminal prisoners. And what's, it's, I don't know if this is funny, but it's not funny, but the word Gulag, like, I don't know if I had ever heard of it, but like Andrew plays a game. Is it War of War? No, it's not World of Warcraft. Is it Call of Duty? I don't know. And they have to go into the gulag or something. I'm like, what the hell is a gulag? But it was actual thing. So yeah, definitely going to be getting to this later. Not like right immediately. Um, just cause I'm just want to learn so much more about that area and things that were going on. But whoa, Anne girl, you had a lot to say. But then look at this. Bill Bryson. This one isn't, I mean, this print is kind of small, but it is definitely shorter than that one. But we do have some, we do have some images. Oh my God. This has safety pins. This person has safety pins in an x-ray. I feel like this is gonna be really good. Oh, I didn't even look at the note. Bobby, hope the sky opens up a lot of wonderful sunshine soon. I'm gonna cry. The full note said, happy reading. Thanks for spreading joy. Hope the sky opens up for a lot, opens up to a lot of wonderful sunshine. Sh sunshine soon from Bobby. Oh. Thank you. This is sunshine. This is sunshine. Thank you so much. Oh, paper bags. That is so, like, I literally, I swore that was a hardcover. Let me put this in here. I swear that was a hardcover. It felt hefty. Okay. Okay. It's just so interesting, all the different packaging that they use. So far I've had this, and a big one like this, and a smaller one like this. They're so diverse over there. I don't know why I sit like this as if I'm some spring chicken. We got a box. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. 
when they came so we can't go to like to the post office or at least i can't like as a spouse to the post office to get our mail um andrew gets it through work so he's not here right now but his um co-workers brought it over uh they messaged me like i have a lot of mail and they came and they were like this is ridiculous all of these boxes say your name on it they don't even say andrew and i was like i don't know what this is i didn't order all of these things but thank you they were not happy with me <laughs> okay okay wait again i don't know what i'm trying to do Ooh, hold on hold on oh i feel a dust jacket Ooh. betray you ruta i think it's sepetis uh she writes young adult historical fiction and she likes to focus on stories that aren't really told you know we get a lot of world war ii stories and she does have stories around that but in different areas like the first one i read from her was salt of the sea which still is my all-time favorite and i boohooed i'm only the only one i haven't read of hers i think is based in new orleans and it's out of out of the easy but this one is set in romania i believe um let's see yeah romania 1989 so romania at this time is under a dictator and our main character is 17 and dreams of being a writer but obviously under a dictator mm, dreams aren't really a thing and so it says that he risks everything to unmask the truth behind the regime give voice to fellow romanians and expose the world to what is happening in his country and so again like i said she focuses on stories um historical stories that are less known and then of course it's a fictional story but she bases it on true events and so i don't know a lot about romania so i'm excited to and what i like about her books is that i read them obviously they're fiction but then i go look up like the true events they're based on because she usually always talks about that in like her author notes or her notes in the back oh more images a bitch loves pictures in books more books need to have photos they can be black and white i just love photos but yeah it always like encourages me to learn about some other event even if i don't do deep research into it it's just something another nugget of knowledge and so yay wait i gotta just saw your most recent video sorry you're disappointed with where you'll be moving i hope this brings a little joy to you sending all the good vibes from sarah this did bring me joy thank you oh this says trust no one tell one no one spies are everywhere mm. i just it's, you know how it's not it's not the buttery cover but it's also not the glossy cover it's like kind of mm, i don't know i like this mm, stop did i put that in there yes okay Okay, the baby is still eating the Easter egg. It still uh, seems to be whole. Okay, we got another. So many different shapes. We got a little mm, printed book. Okay, it says technical, scientific, and professional. I'm trying to think of what book I'm Is it the Code Breaker? Is it, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Ooh. Ooh, it's glossy, hardcover. Oh, my girl Stacy! Yes! Minority leader, how to lead from the outside and make real change. Stacey Abrams. A queen. I don't know why Nigel just showed up. Oh, he's trying to eat this. This is one of her, she, so she has fiction and nonfiction. This is one of her nonfiction books and it's talking about leadership, how leadership is hard. Um, she argues that knowing your passion is the key to success regardless of the scale or target. And I'm pretty sure she is running again for the governor of Georgia. And I hope she wins because I mean, we need people like her in every level and position of power. But I've just, from what I've, Nigel, I'm trying to record. Why did he go get another Easter egg out of the thing? From we, we got this toy box made for him that he can, with his little self, reach into it. But I'm like, so you can reach into it, but you can't put your toys back. We're gonna start singing that Barney song, clean up, clean up. Anyway, from what I've seen of Stacey, I followed her on Twitter, seen the things she's worked towards. 
um, like against voter suppression and she just seems like a real dope lady. And so this will be interesting to read and it's also very short. Are there pictures? Are there images? Oh, oh, we got some notes. Oh, we got, we got some ways to make notes. Interesting. Okay, fine, no images, uh, whatever. You're a good part of the internet and you deserve some good things, enjoy. Thank you, Amanda. You're a good part of this world. Oh, hey girl. Do I have her? Yeah, I have another one of her nonfiction books up there. I was like, hey, that's gonna go up there with that one because I need to read them, of course. <gasps> Y'all, there's three more boxes. This, this one, ooh. Are there like pins in there? It just says printed books. This boy is going through and taking everything out of his toy box. What is that? The ghetto lives here, folks. Okay, wait. Okay, ooh. Ooh, is that a bookmark? Ooh, ooh. Oh, paperback. Mm. Ooh, do we have deckled edges? Oh, bitch loves deckled edges. Oh, can't be. Ooh. I don't know why I could. I just like doing this. I don't know what this is. <gasps> oh, Hunted by Stars. Yes. So um, this is the follow up to Marrow Thieves, which I read last fall, I believe, um, by Cherie Demoline. And this is an indigenous author. And I read this along with. Oh. Oh, I read this along with the lovely ladies of the Bring Your Own Book podcast, but the ending of Marrow Thieves, I was like, mm. and so this, it definitely is like, is it like dystopian? It was very, this is longer than Marrow Thieves, but Marrow Thieves was like 200, maybe 240, 240 pages, but it packed a lot in that book. But the ending, I was like, excuse me. And so, yes. I need to read this. I wonder if they've read it yet. I'll be like, we can read it, do it as a buddy read. And then this bookmark is amazing. It says a wise woman once said this, or a, a wise woman once said, fuck this shit. And she lived happily ever after. <laughs> I love it. Is it focusing? I love it. And then Norse mythology. Oh my God. Oh, I don't know. I love raised when the words are raised. This is freaking, oh, who's on top? Freaking beautiful. I love deckled edges. Let me look at this. It said, this is such a random choice, but it's a book I love and I think it's something nice to read without having to think too much. So hope it's good for you from Monique. I haven't read this. I think Andrew read it and cause he's really into Norse his mythology and all of that stuff. I've always wanted to simply because the book is beautiful. And don't lie, y'all do it too. Y'all y'all do it too. Um, was that one? And then it said, you got this from Monique. Thank you, Monique. Thank you. I need to ask them, cause I wanna read this one. I've been thinking about, this bookmark is iconic. Honestly, this is amazing. <laughs> Fuck this shit. She lives happily ever after. I mean, ain't nobody got time for all that stuff. Oh my God, y'all are spoiling me. Spoiled. I can't. Two more boxes. I didn't think this would take so long, but you know I'd be running my mouth, so why are we surprised? Okay. This says textbook? Maybe I bought, did I buy myself a textbook? Maybe it's, is it the Code Breakers? I don't know. <gasps> the Broken Kingdoms, why does that say a textbook? Oh, there's another one in here. Ah! This is a textbook. This isn't a textbook nonfiction. Nonfiction. So I have the first and the third of this trilogy. Don't ask. But I needed the second one. And this is the second one of the Inheritance trilogy. Now, I don't know where my third one is. I have to find it. But I want to read more of it and get to NK Jemison's backlist. I needed this one. So thank you so much. And then I'm so ashamed of myself because this came out last year. This was one of my anticipated releases. But I also had read a decent amount of nonfiction on like race. So I was like, ooh, I'm kind of tired right now. But I follow Clint Smith 
on Twitter and he just is, he seems like such a nice, smart, eloquent man. And so when he was talking about his book coming out, I was like, oh, I need that. And then I didn't read it, but now I have it. And so how the word is passed is, so it says that he starts in his hometown of New Orleans and he leads the reader on an unforgettable tour of monuments and landmarks um, about the past and show how slavery has been central in shaping our nation's collective history and memory. And just from what he's written on Twitter and I like subscribe to his newsletter, I know his writing is going to be amazing. So I know this is going to be good. And I've heard nothing but really good things about this. So I will be getting to this. I don't know why I feel proud. I don't know the man. He don't know me, but I'm like, oh, I'm so proud. <laughs> like, I follow you on Twitter. I'm so proud you wrote this book. So wait. Who is this? You deserve a good part of the internet. You deserve some good things. Enjoy, Amanda. What? Wait, did I already? Okay, wait, let me make sure I'm not mixing it up. Oh yeah, it says, you're a good part of the internet. You deserve some good things. Enjoy. P.S. This is a really weird book. Oh, this one? <laughs> and it says from Amanda, thank you. Thank you so much. Y'all, Nigel over here having a freaking field day. Okay, one more box. Holy freaking macaroni. Oh, what a great day. Happy Friday to me. This says printed book. Now, I've had a book. I've had one book in this box. I had one book in this size box. But now it says one book in this box. What? I, I don't even know what's the top. like a big old book now that look like a big old book now oh no you didn't Enjoy your gift, you deserve it. When you said we need to outlive Mitch McConnell, I couldn't agree more. Oh, thank you, Jenny. We have to, we have to outlive Mitch. I'm working on the merch, don't worry. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. Brandy, have you lost your goddamn mind? This is Rhythm of War, the, the fourth Stormlight Archive book. I will say these books are fucking massive, but they're also beautiful. This one is a stunning, well, the cover is beautiful. And the inside, the cover is actually a really pretty, ooh, it's a really pretty purple. Beautiful. And then there's a map. I love a map. And then there's also art on the end pages. Wow. That's amazing. Let me, let me see how many pages this is, Lord. Let's see what Brandon got going on here now. Epilogue. 1,219 pages. Brandon, I'm a... I'm a beat your ass. <laughs> no. Oh my God, thank you so much. I was like, this is heavy. This is a weapon. This is a weapon. Oh my sweet Lord, hold on. Hold on, okay. Now, okay, I'm putting you up here. So, I have Rhythm of War. And then I got the How the Warriors Passed and The Broken Kingdoms. Norse mythology. Hunting by stars. Minority leader. I must betray you. Gulag, the body, it happened one summer, and in a holidays. Thank you. Like, obviously, I feel like that's not enough. I feel like that's hollow or it's just, but, um, thank you so much. Sometimes, I think in our modern day society, it's easy to 
base your worth and like accomplishments and all of that on numbers by how many people like a post or view a video. Um, but like when I do reading vlogs and I see people's comments like, thank you for posting this or thank you for sharing that or I just, I enjoyed this or love seeing Nigel, just makes me happy. Even if they don't get a lot of views and it's like sometimes really hard to forget that. And then when you have experienced kindness like this, um, yeah, just get y'all emotional and choked up, but I am not crying on camera. I will do that off camera, but seriously, I love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And I think that's it for my video. I'm gonna go have to clean up Nigel's mess and make myself some lunch, but I appreciate you all. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, and subscribe if you want to, but I will catch you. Oh wait, how dare I? Stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreened, and I'll see you in my next one.